Spring is finally upon us, which means it's time to get our feet a little sandy. And if you were anywhere by the Pompano Beach Pier this weekend, you got to see some of the best college beach volleyball in the nation at the 2024 Florida Atlantic Beach Invitational. Six schools traveled to Boca Raton for a round-robin tournament, the number 16 hosting Owls, the number 12 FIU Panthers, the number 5 TCU Horned Frogs, and the number one team in the country, the USC Trojans. Additionally, Florida Gulf Coast made an appearance, and rounding out the list were the West Palm locals, the Palm Beach Atlantic University Sailfish. While the Sailfish are technically part of a Division II school, they still know how to run with the big dogs, winning a single game in both their matches against USC and TCU. We got to see the Sailfish and Owls go head-to-head -head Saturday afternoon. The Owls had won their previous four matchups against the Sailfish, and this one was no different. Without even letting a single game go to the third set, the Owls sweep the Sailfish 5-0, putting their record to 10-6 on the season. While the Division II Sailfish may have been the clear underdogs in this tournament, Florida Atlantic head coach Steve Gratowski loves how the game is expanding and never takes anyone for granted. Beach volleyball is deeper than it's ever been. You know, PBA is very talented, they're well coached. You know, if we don't play well, we could lose a bunch of matches. You know, I think the same thing when we're playing USC. We've got a little bit of that underdog mentality probably like PBA will have today. So there's, there's been tons of upsets this year. Beach volleyball is getting really deep. It's good for the sport, and uh, hopefully it makes uh, the girls come out ready to play every time, every time they step on the sand. It's Theo Dorsey. If you love that video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to get more just like that one. Also, don't get stuck paying for someone else's negligence. Lytle writer Smith, Ivy, and Fronrath has been representing injured people and their families for more than three decades. They can represent you. Check them out at ForYourRights.com and don't get stuck paying for someone else's negligence.